Hi guys. Now, apparently I forgot somehow to record Capricorn, my own moon sign. Listen, <clears throat> so I apologize if you're getting that. I have to put this disclosure right at the top of this video. I apologize. There's been a long and hard week for me. And, of course, I like to have my videos done in a certain time frame. Doesn't look like that happened. So I apologize. Um, I had clients and everything else. So before I start uploading the next series, which is already halfway done, I'm going to do it all at one time for you guys. Um, I just felt bad. So I got up and I'm doing an impromptu Capricorn video for the top of the month. So this is going to hold you from the 1st through the 22nd. Energy has shifted since the 1st through the 15th reading. I don't like to, especially, I know that uh, readings don't have an expiration date. But I like to stay consistent with, if I'm going to say it's from the 1st through the 15th, then I want it to kind of stay in that time frame. Although they were all kind of few days late today so when you see it if it applies then it applies to you and it resonates if it doesn't and it's not for you you already know if it resonates great if it doesn't let it skate um i am preparing for client readings that i have today um which i wanted to get up and get the the caps out of the way i apologize but this is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising and venus this is going to be your top of the month love reading um, I, every time I get the cards in my hand, something itches. Um, so, um, if you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed, ow, I do want to give out an extra special shot to the, your, uh, fellow marvelous, uh, tribe member who pointed out the fact that Capricorn was uploaded. Out of everybody that watches No One Care, Cap, that let me know that we all got stuff going on. I'm a Cap Moon, so... Today is the full moon in Cancer. As this is being recorded, it is um, uh, December 22nd. So it's going to carry you. It could carry you from the first through now, or it could be ca it, it capturing what you're going through today. Let me go ahead and get her name. All of the rest of them are going to be, um, they're called year end. So I'm not necessarily calling them um, end of the month. Because the new ones that are going to carry us uh, from the day that they're uploaded through the end of the year are called year-end love readings. So I'm going to be pulling an extra couple of cards in addition to those five cards. But I'll explain that at the time. So let's get the subby name. Um, and I apologize. I didn't write it down. But I was so disappointed in myself. I was like, what? And you know what I did? I recorded the 11 videos and I count. So when I counted my thumbnails, I was like, oh, I was so discombobulated and had so many other things going on last week that I thought it didn't record that that extra 12th thumbnail was a picture that, that the computer accidentally took of me. And I saw that and I didn't look at the, I just looked and I was like, oh, that's why, that, that's the Capricorn video, not. So I apologize again, hold on. Where are we? Cap, I'm probably going to end up doing you guys last, just because I'm doing you now. Um, that is Subby by the name of Davicia or Davicia McNeil. Honey, thank you so much, because I know that um, I said I was going to be uploading it last night, and I just couldn't do it. I wasn't in good energy, and that wouldn't have been fair to you guys. So I meditated and got my mind right. So I apologize that it's four minutes into this and I haven't started, but I did have to apologize to you guys. So let's get started. I have been meditating. This is going to be again the top of the month or top of the month until now. Love reading. That's going to um, carry you from the time frames that I've already indicated 16 times. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to be using for the main energies today, Tarot Made Easy by Barbara Moore. Um, this was a new deck. I'm feeling the energy off of this deck today. I did tap in Capricorn. Let me cut this down. If you guys hear the music in the background, that's Complexion, A Zulu Love by Mr. Kendrick Lamar, featuring my girl Rhapsody. 
It's my girl. I'm feeling like Capricorn as I was tapping in. <clears throat> the Page of Swords is in reverse. Page of Swords bring messages, bring truth and clarity. The fact that the Page of Swords is in reverse is letting me know for some of you Capricorns that there is either not going to be a focus on truth and clarity or the second part of that that I'm feeling for you guys is that the need for mental clarity is over with. Let me put my stones in. Sorry, you had to see that. But you didn't see nothing, so shut up, Cap. Um, the need for mental clarity is over. There's not a need for mental clarity anymore. There is a truth that you are coming to the realization of. If you haven't come to the realization of it on your own, then there is no need to be brought. There is no need for truth and clarity for something to even be brought forth because you're either at the point where you're going to accept whatever this truth is and move on. Or you're just to the point where you no longer care about that situation and you're still moving on. I get a strong feeling that you guys are moving away from something that no longer serves you, okay? Um, when I clarify and tap into my clarifying deck, we got this nine of cups. So I think that this could be a strong need or a strong indication that the truth and clarity that you no longer need clarified, that you no longer need someone to bring you. Because remember, the page of swords, when that truth and clarity comes out, it's not good. It's not, it's not something that, put it like this, the truth and clarity that comes behind the page of swords always brings forth some type of trial or obstacle. So although we may, be, we may need that, when I see this in reverse, I don't read that as bad. Also, so is the Seven of Swords. Also, so was the Ten of Swords. So the mental clarity, the, um, the deception, maybe there was mind games that was played around something, a truth, as it pertains to this wish fulfillment and, and, and uh, as it pertains to the, 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 the nine cups that are filled right here. I think that there's been some type of realization as I stated, Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so <clears throat> that's your energy tapping in. And I think this year in is going to be beautiful. Again, I'm going to pull, I'm going to do your year in love reading last. Since I would be doing your year in love reading now. Um, I'm going to do yours last because I'm pretty much doing yours first. You can make this a combo reading. Almost as if you get a bonus reading, but it's really not. But as far as the energy is concerned, the planets have shifted in such a way that can be beneficial to you. So I've already tapped in. Let's go ahead and get started. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and give me the overall love energy that surrounds Capricorn. Sorry, Cap. <laughs> in this top of the month and or mid-month love from the 1st through the 22nd, please. What is Capricorn and partner? Give your relationship a chance, Capricorn. Work on your partnership. Okay? Finances and career. You know we go three down. And if I didn't explain it to you because I'm a little bit discombobulated because this isn't a planned video. Um, five energies that's going to represent the overall um, energy that could surround you in love right now. Okay? Um, then we're going to be clarifying those. Um... I'm going back and forth with between whether I'm going to clarify we're right away or um, or Morgan. But we are definitely changing up the spread. And the main energies are going to be pulled with Tarot Made Easy by Barbara Moore. Okay. Now, Healing Family Issues Capricorn. Past Life Relationship Capricorn. And Soulmate. Okay. So... I know you're dealing with a soulmate because I see that wish fulfillment over there. Spirit is telling you guys to give your relationship a try. And I think that that is the truth that you guys have come into the realization about. This is exactly what I'm feeling. And before I even had these cards, I knew it. And even when we're pulling at the bottom of the deck, is the judgment call. So let's go ahead and get started with these energies. I'm just saying that. I'm getting an overwhelming feeling that you're coming into realization with something that maybe 
you had you've been fighting. There's been a fight. Show me spirit. <laughs> Justice. This is what I'm talking about. Show me spirit. The energy that surrounds Capricorn and Lover and two came out. Strength. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The magician. Oh my God. You see how beautiful this energy is? A five card reading is pulling a, about a major arcana already. Already. Show me spirit. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. This is why I knew this deck was popping today. Show me. Oh, this is going to be a slam dunk. There's a lot of healing here. All right. They fell out together. Ooh, baby. Capricorn. We got the Ace of Swords, baby. Why do you think you're no longer this page? Because you already got the truth and clarity that you need. Didn't I say that? I'm looking a little rough today, but let me tell you, it is not a fashion show. And I'm here to give you this good word. And I'm telling you that I got at the beginning of this spread that you no longer need it. You don't need this. You don't need a page. You, you're, you have surpassed page. You're not even on the page level, Cap. You guys have elevated, okay, with, to the ace. And then we end with the three of cups. There's going to be some type of celebration. There's going to be some type of truth and clarity, if not revealed, that you come into the realization with. Get ugly. Bottom of the deck, baby. We got the queen of pentacles. What? Capricorn, if that ain't you, this is my earth queen, baby. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What? We got the three of wands. And then finally, we got the emperor who is in reverse. So yes, there may be, this is Aries energy. There may be a need. Um, or there may be a, what am I looking for? There may be a stagnation, a very low vibrational type of energy that speaks to whether you want to move forward. Um, not necessarily move forward in, in the, in, in, in the, um, in the energy of the chariot deciding what you want to do because that could, that, that's not always great energy in a love reading. The emperor is a person who Aries energy, by the way, who rules kingdoms, who gets shit done, represents an authority figure, the energy of the emperor uh, is your structure is is your wisdom the the and that person will embody those same qualities so i'm kind of feeling like with all of the the you've been stuck in like the eight of swords because your energy did pull down the eight of swords the nine of swords all of that is gone now you are operating in the ace of swords so quite naturally this is just your mind and your energy having to play catch up right now because there was a realization there was absolutely a realization. Oh, there we go. Let me adjust my crown. What? Come on, Capricorn. So I feel like it definitely has something to do with this nine of uh, cups. And I just chose, I think I am going to be clarifying with Morgan. And I'm, I'm definitely feeling like it has a lot to do with this nine of cups. I'm going to get into the main energies really quickly. But that's what I'm thinking it has a lot to do with. And why is because, you know... There's been a fight, uh, there, there has been a holding back and a focus, a strong focus on uh, focusing on your finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Capricorns, you know we, and I say we, have a tendency to get focused on the, uh, the practical financial things that, it, it, which is the lens in which we look through things, even from a love perspective. We can love, but everything takes a back seat to this baby, finances and career. And you guys already know what I'm talking about, Cap, so I don't want to hear it. Okay? So, there has been some hesitation here. Um, there could have been some holding back. I'm surprised the Four of Pentacles has not come out. But again, in your main energy, we have the Justice card. We have the Strength card. 
we have the magician, we have the ace of swords, and we have the three of cups. We have Libra energy here with the justice card. We have Leo energy here with the strength card. You are the magician. You have all of the tools in your arsenal to manifest the, the outcome, the ending, um, the beginning that you want. So make sure that with this amount of power, Capricorn, that you are definitely careful that you use this for good. But I see that you're in a perfect state of mind to do it. You have the mental clarity that you desire, um, the mental um, and the, the mental clarity and the um, you are operating at a standpoint that you're OK with it. You are operating in a power that you're finally ready to get back to happiness. I don't think that this is a third party card in this reading. This is your abundance, your, your abundance, your exuberance. This is you wanting to get back to love and have a good time, enjoying holiday time together. Now, there has been some family issues as well that could have definitely played a factor in this relationship moving forward. There has been healing of finances and career are just starting to get back on the up and up. You've come, you, you, the worst of it is over. So if this resonates with you, the worst of it is over. Let's talk about um, the finances, career, and family issues first before we get into the this soulmate because I feel it. So first and foremost, there probably has been some shit going on at work. There's possibly been some stuff going on with family. Family has not been as supportive. Some of you Capricorns have probably had to cut ties and several sever ties with toxic family members. It is that time of the year. 2018 has brought a, a, brought forth a tremendous amount of healing and growth, but more importantly, struggle and strife. And universe spirit angels and everybody, all of our angels and, and our spirit guides have nudged us to the point where it created a tower moment and within all of our lives in certain areas that needed to be restructured. And I think that that emperor in reverse is you realizing what you need to realize, taking your power back, manifesting what you want and stepping into your power, Capricorn, with every one of these areas that's on the board, finances, career and love. So, yes, it's been bumpy. It's been a bumpy ride. But you know what? You ain't broke up about it. Because this Ace of Swords is here, baby. When you have that amount of, of mental clarity, you everything else is secondary, baby. You like, okay. Because you've been through hell. And these clarifying cards is gonna is gonna outline just how much hell you've been through. There's possibly, listen, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Some of you guys had some deep soul searching that you had to do. As it pertains at where's my wand? I got where where you where you go, baby? Where did oh as it pertains to this part right here, forgiving your parents. Listen, there's been a tremendous amount of soul searching that, that has taken place this year. There has been a tremendous amount of obstacles that has been placed before all of us. And I don't want to get into year end too much, because but this is the energy. You see, this is the reason why I shouldn't have forgot this video. So like I said, this is technically your year end review. As it pertains to, 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 this is the energy. So let me, let me stick to the script. So there has been so many obstacles where I feel like the mental clarity that was needed to get, because it threw you for a loop. There's been things that's been revealed about things in your family. You already got the stress of what's going on at work and you have to figure this relationship out. So you had all that going on and you just like, I can't catch a break, but you caught a break. You caught a break because you here with it. Capricorn, you know we are all about uh, um, strapping up our bootstraps and doing what we have to do. And I would probably say that it's probably harder being a Capricorn moon than it is a Capricorn sun. Because to have that Capricorn energy in your emote, like in, in the house that rules your emotions, it's probably a little bit harder for us Cap moons. But we don't, we, we don't play victim. You know, we deal with what we have to deal with. So shout out to the Capricorn moons. But of course, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. But I feel like there's been a lot of severing of the ties back to this uh, family. 
I feel like there's been some severing of, and honestly, spirit is telling me, even from a personal standpoint for some of you guys, this isn't so much as you forgiving your parents. This is for you forgiving the person that you have a, a kid with. Okay. Um, th this card definitely resonates with me. I had to sever ties with a part. Yeah. So if you guys are, it, 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 it actually goes back to the relationship that you have with your mom and dad. If the dad was absent, if the mom was absent, you're seeing those patterns repeat in your own life with your own kids and the people that you chosen to have children with. And, and if you're anything like me, this year was the final year for the bullshit. And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to keep it clean. But this was it. And then you took this and you manifested what you wanted. And what you wanted was peace. But you no longer care to keep in contact with these people. I, I see that. I see that that's what this Ace of Swords was. You can't keep playing these mind games with yourself. Okay? So a, a lot of you guys have been going through hell with work. You're not happy in your career. You don't feel like you're getting paid enough. That also play a factor in keeping this relationship stagnant. Okay? Um, this is your love reading. But these two cards are very telltale. But the beautiful part is, is now we're about to get into this, the, 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 the meat and potatoes of this, okay? This is a past life relationship. This is a, I'm sorry, a past life connection. And this is your soulmate. This person represents wish fulfillment for you. It has actually fulfilled some wishes emotionally for you. It ties back the, directly to the fact that this also played a factor in this relationship as well. Not just from a standpoint where you need to forgive your parents or forgive the person that you had a child by. Also, but you had to do some shedding of yourself internally on thoughts, especially you Capricorn. So I'm kind of happy that your, your video for the top is last because you, as a zodiac sign, your, your major arcana that represents you is the devil. Because that is all of the ego and the thoughts and patterns and behaviors that no longer serve you. Everybody, no matter what zodiac and what placement in the, in the millions of, 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 um, of a variety of these charts that we have. I mean, you can get a variety and you, no one's the same. But Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus or whatever other prominent house you may have Capricorn... You are prone to kind of falling back and being stuck in your ways and being bound to these energies and thoughts and patterns that don't serve you more so because it's natural and you don't look at it as the devil. I kind of hate that, it, that, that that's the card because to me, it sounds more sinister than it actually is, but that's what it is. Okay. So I feel like you Going into Capricorn mode, everything takes a back seat to, the, to the, 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 the family issues and the finances and career. And it's showing up today because it's showing just how much work you put in. Okay? Just how much you had to deal with. Look at the strength card. The strength card does not come down unless there was a tremendous fight that you had to go through. The fight of your life. Justice is here. So whatever situation with this healing, and I really do, now that I'm, I'm, I'm talking and looking at this justice card, let's start clarifying. Libra energy with the justice card, like I said, Leo with the strength. We got Ace of Swords, Libra, Virgo, Libra and Virgo. The Ace of Swords, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We got the Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, you're going to be relaxing. And you're finally going to be having some fun. But you tell the this, this soulmate, you realize that this is the soulmate. You realize what this person means to you. That's, that's exciting in itself. You realize it. I did get the four of wands that came out. You realized a lot of stuff. And now you're about to start manifesting the beginning that you want with this person. The, the year end is here, Capricorn. And, and just to let you know, there's going to be, there's a full moon in Cancer tonight. Do your full moon rituals. But more importantly, Cap, there's going to be an eclipse in Capricorn on January the 5th. So 
that eclipse for you guys that resonate closely with this particular spread right here caps you guys are going to be revealing what you what you need to reveal and leveling up and taking this relationship to the next level as far as the, the Hitler family issues you've already dealt with that you have to cut some folks out as far as finances and career the eclipse is either going to eclipse people. Well, I feel like with this the healing family issues, you're already eclipsing people out. But this this is a lunar eclipse. Um, the solar is not, uh, I believe, until until months after that. So um, this is going to be the completion of things. Okay, all of this stagnant energy. That's it. It's going to be the completion. And as a result of that, this bullshit is going to be eclipsed out of your life. The obstacles that's represented here is going to be eclipsed out of your life. And you're already on the right path to accept it. You have justice. Justice is going to be served. Karmic justice for those these family issues. And justice as far as any situation that has held you back at the workplace. Because Capricorn, I know you're a hard worker. And whatever the hell has been going on, you don't really feel like you got your just due. It's here, baby. Okay? It's here. Clarify justice for me, spirit. You are being guided to give your relationship a chance. <laughs> Ten of cups. Ten of cups. Well, this changed a little bit. Justice is here and justice is going to be served. But whatever went and took place in love, there's going to be justice. So for those of you who resonate with this and the cross watcher for your video did this to you or everything that I've been saying as far as think karmic justice and love and things of that nature, justice at work. Let's talk about this relationship. Um, you heal from the past. You're healing from all of those behaviors and things that your, uh, the, your past brought forth that made you who you are today. You love this person. And there's going to be justice served. That justice that is going to be served. I don't believe that this has anything to do with legal. But for some of you guys, if this is a legal situation, if it includes someone or something that you love that has an emotional pull on you, I don't know why I'm being guided to say some of you guys waiting on another relationship to end so you can move forward in your ten of cups. Met waiting on somebody to get a divorce or something. It's happening. Wow. Strength is here and being clarified by the two of swords. You come out and make the decision. I told you there was a lot of swords on the board. This was you blocking the emotions and deciding not to make a decision at all. This is clarifying the strength, which completely makes sense. You had the, you had the strength, which actually ultimately brought you from to your ace of swords. So we've already talked about, we spent a lot of time on the mental clarity. Clarify the magician. What caused Capricorn to need to manifest? The fact that you were juggling more than one area in your life, which makes sense because this particular spread is talking about how you need to heal family issues, how your finances and your uh, career was uh, causing um, a problem in your life. And then um, also the fact that you're juggling, even accepting the fact that this is your soulmate and that you're in love with this person. So you had a lot on your plate, Capricorn. And now you decided with this mental clarity that you need to break out of that. And spirit universe and, and um, the gods helped you, which you, you were able to manifest what you wanted. It took a tremendous a lot of a amount of strength. And then karmic justice is on your side. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Ace of Swords is here because the cycle is ending. This is the completion with the world. So... It was time for you to learn all of the lessons which I have been drilling since the beginning of this. You learned and learned and learned and learned. And now it is time for everything to end. And I don't, the ending is not yet near. I think that's the reason why this emperor was in reverse. Remember, um, I didn't spend too much time with the bottom of the deck because I've been so excited 
I've been so excited, but let's go over them one more time. Remember, you are the queen of pentacles. So that is, um, this is your energy, uh, Capricorn. So you're going to be coming out of all of this stagnant energy and your finances and career are going to be on the upswing because we have the queen of pence here. And you are looking out up on the horizon and planning. This is exactly what you're doing. You're doing your planning. You're sitting down and you're, you're plotting the strategy for the next phase, which I think now that all of the rest of these situations that you've been juggling, you've come out of stagnation. I think the very last thing we have to deal with, which I'm going to clarify, is this three of cups. But again, um, that's the reason why you're here with it. This is a low vibrational emperor right now, but as you plan... You're going to come out of that energy and move in, in there. And I think that once this eclipse happens in, in Capricorn at the beginning of the year, that's going to be exactly what you need. And then you're going to, you're, you're planning your strategy right now. The eclipse is going to help eclipse the final aspects of your life, career, family, and love that no longer serves you. And you're going to start 2019 fantastic. Clear. Yes, yes, I know it. Yes, so there was things in love that no longer served you. This Eight of Cups serves as a confirmation that this is clarifying the three. So you walked away from thoughts, patterns, people, anything that's represented, where my wand at? Anything that is represented right here in these Eight Cups, that's where you are with it. There was something that held you, and I, I truly believe it is a result of this healing family issues, if you can see it without that glare. You had to do that, and you realize, you realize that this is a past life relationship. You're going to be giving your relationship a chance. And I think that this is representing the fact that if it's been stagnant, you guys are going to have fun. This represents the party, okay? Soulmates, this is your soulmate, Capricorn, okay? This has been your reading. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, I'm going to be doing your reading last. Um, I've already started. Um, I did see that Capricorn. I'm probably going to, I don't want to record it so close to, oh my God, really? Sorry about that. I don't want to record it so close to this one. I want to kind of give the energies a couple days. So it is, I'm calling these year in. So it's going to, um, from just for the entire year, I'm just going to pull one spread. I am calling them year in. And we're going to see where the energy is. But yes, this is clarifying all of these. That's where you were before you came into your Ace of Swords. You felt like your hands were tied. Absolutely. This is all of that. This is all of that. Then we have the five of swords. You definitely went through a huge mental um, shift and tempering yourself. Sag energy here. So that's what you've been doing. Okay. I'm already over my time. I'm going to go ahead and, and end it here. Um, I certainly hope that this resonated. Again, I apologize. But you can already see if you have cross-watched in those other videos. Oh, and by the way. I told you that that's where you are with it. This did clarify this justice card, but this person is wish fulfillment for you, and you are in love with this person. This is your soulmate. This is a past life connection. You guys know, have known each other before, and you're being guided to work on your partnership because this is what, you, this is what you've come into um, the, the mental clarity about, okay? Remember. I just wanted to clarify that in your clarifying energy, we did get a strong love card. And it's not the ace, but I'll still take it, okay? So, um, what was I saying? If you watch the other videos, the energies are all a type of healing energy anyway. So, it kind of matches, except yours uh, brought, brought about a tremendous amount of um, major arcana, okay? So... I apologize for the lateness. I'm going to get all of the other videos uploaded. They will all be uploaded uh, by month end and um, actually before month end because I have a lot of uh, personals. If you're interested in the personal reading, go on the community tab 
um, where the December is completely booked. But um, the weekend special for 2019, I had to post early because people were wanting these personal readings and December just wasn't available anymore. So if you want any other information as far as a personal reading is concerned, everything is going to be linked in the description. I will not be time snapping this. I uh, came on here to speak how I felt very freely. Um, so if you have a problem with the fact that the reading didn't start until about four minutes in, then I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize for that, okay? So um, I would just say that maybe you should just click off and go and find someone else that can do it your way like Burger King. But over here, that's how I chose to do it, all right? We do not timestamp these. But uh, I've taken enough of, enough of your time. I got to get ready for my clients. So I will see you guys here. You'll start seeing those videos for year end being trickling on. You'll start seeing them. Um, and that's it. So by the time you see me again, will probably be maybe in a couple days. And then after that, I'll wish you a happy new year. So, and for you guys though, since your video is so late, Merry Christmas Capricorn. So I'll see you here right before the new year. Okay. I've said that like six times. I need to drink my coffee. Bye Cap.